Hey guys, welcome back to another reading vlog slash university vlog. Um, today is Monday, it's like 9.30 and I thought I would start off this morning with some reading updates. I did manage to finish two books over the weekend, so I thought I would really briefly mention those and then kind of go into what I'm going to be reading this week. So the first book I finished was for school and that was A Small Place by Jamaica Kincaid. I ended up really, really liking it. I gave it four stars and... It was just amazing like it broke my heart once again like all these books are apt to do but it was so important it's this essay about what um, life is like living in the Caribbean or living in a small place or an island and anything like that it calls out tourism so much and that was just like it was so needed like it was amazing she makes so many good points she gets at the corruption of literally everything and i just i'd really recommend this so four stars i also finished my audiobook four dead queens by astrid schultze and i gave it one and a half stars i really really ended up not liking it i did finish it but it was really really bad so i'll talk more about that later i don't want to go on a rant about it but like i hated it <laughs> I am still currently reading, of course, Mr. Iliad. I'm actually on book 10 now, so some progress has been made. I am caught up for today's class and I'm a little bit of the way through, so feeling pretty good about that. I do have to read an essay this morning called An Embassy, The Embassy of Achilles, so um, I'll try and read that before class, but I did catch up on book nine this morning. Finally, the book that I kind of want to make it my goal to finish this week, I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to try, is The Picture of Dorian Gray because I've just been, I've really been neglecting it. I know it's not a read for school, it's just a fun read. I did mark some tabs for my kind of, I don't know what I'm going to call it, bookish babbles or something, I don't know. Um, but I am almost pretty much halfway through, so I think I could definitely manage to finish it this week, so that's going to be my kind of non-school related priority but I didn't want to make this update too too long. I have some chores I need to do this morning. I have a whole bunch of laundry I did last night that I need to put away. Um, I have some essays I need to read for school. I need to start my assignment for Greek epic which is like a close reading of a passage of my choice which I love in the Iliad and kind of discuss it. Um, I think right now the one I have I believe it's in book three. I think it's in book three where Aphrodite <laughs> Uh, steals Paris from the battlefield because he's about to get absolutely slaughtered by Menelaus and Aphrodite's like no my little boy and she takes him back to um, his room with Helen and Helen's like I hate you you're a piece of shit and Paris is like that's valid but Aphrodite's like no you guys have to love each other blah 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 so I think I want to like do it on the relationship between Aphrodite and Helen because they like hate each other and it's really interesting because they're quite similar in ways and they're also quite different so I think I want to do it on that once again I'm rambling but um that's something I need to work on this week as well but yes this commander still participants bite me sit B Amnon addresses the assembled troops in book nine the only cause he puts forward for the Achaean route is blind ruin at combining Macron E, and the only remedy is combining Macron E. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I also forgot to mention in my reading update that I'm currently reading Illuminae by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Um, I was really hesitant to start this because I know so many people like it and I was just really scared that like I wouldn't enjoy it but I am almost three hours through and I started it last night and I'm like I'm so hooked. I think recently I've just had like a really really bad time with YA books like I've been writing them really really low and I haven't been enjoying them and it's just not been a good time for me but Illuminae might turn things around this month. Um, if you don't know, we're set very far in the future. It is a sci-fi book and it's really cool because it's all told through like government files, documents, interviews, um, messages, electronic messages and stuff like that and it's really cool and basically we're following these two people Ezra and Katie and they have just broken up and on the same day that they broke up their planet is attacked by this company called Baytech who I think wants their minerals or their mining things or some shit I I don't really know but um, they're attacked they escape on these three ships and then they're just floating in space trying to get away from this bad company 
um, it's like Walmart comes and steals all your garbage and then like wants to blow you up as well. So they're like running away from Walmart. And um, it's just really, really good. It's really compelling. It's really well written. Like, it's interesting too because it's not prose, but I'm, it's, I'm still saying it's really well written because the interviews are very real. It feels like these people and these poor colonists who are running away actually exist. Um, it just, yeah, it feels really real. So. I'm really liking it, but I wanted to say that. I'm going to go uh, to class now. I think I'm going to walk there, even though it's kind of a far walk, but um, I do just want some exercise. So I'm going to walk there, be there for a while, and then I will come back. All right, so I'm back from class now. I caught up on some booktube, and I had an orange. Um, but I just made a cup of tea, so I think I'm gonna sit, put on some lo-fi, because I love lo-fi music, it's like a guilty pleasure. And I'm gonna start research for my group project on the poem, The Immovable Tenant, so um, we'll see how that goes. But I'm gonna sit down and start doing some research. So I just did a whole bunch of research and everything like that for the poem, The Immovable Tenant. Um, my presentation's next week. And guys, I feel like I'm getting sick. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a cold, which like I don't want. I just chugged that orange. <laughs> so I like ate it really fast and I know that like isn't anything, but like I feel it in my throat. And my roommate has been sick for like a week and I thought I really thought I wasn't getting sick but even now talking like I can kind of hear it and I'm like no I don't have time for this I don't have time for a cold um so I'm gonna finish my tea even though it's really hurting to drink like my throat is very sore and I might have a nap honestly and see if that helps I'll probably like listen to Illumine um or ASMR or something but I know um tomorrow I have to have read the Shield of Achilles by Alden and something else, some other poem by him, I think, for British literature. So I'm going to try and do that tonight, but like, I think you can kind of tell. You can kind of tell my voice is kind of off and I can tell. Um, no, I don't have time. I literally am just recovering from this concussion, finally, after 15 weeks, and I get struck, smited with the flu. <sighs> I got sick. Hello, it's Tuesday. Um, as you can see, I got ready. I tried to stop looking like a scruffy little uh, dust mite, termite, I don't know. I just filmed a video though. I filmed the book, book haul, which I'm kind of proud of myself for, although my voice is kind of achy in the whole thing, but it's fine. Um, so let's talk about Illuminae. I am almost halfway through and this book is stressing me out. Th mm. Oh my gosh, so much has happened. I literally keep screaming to Ashley about it. And disaster after disaster after disaster is what this book is composed of. And it's killing me. It is killing me so much. I'm not going to like say specific things because I don't want to spoil anything. But like we have an AI that is not behaving very nicely. We have character deaths that you don't see coming ever we have just shit hitting the fan in all possible ways and all possible angles that shit can hit the fan and like 
I was not ready for it. I didn't know this book was gonna be like this. I was like, oh, it'll be a sci-fi romance. They're in space. And like, that is a part of it, but I'm really glad it's not the main part. Basically, things just keep going wrong and it's really stressful and yeah. Um, I do want to talk about the romance. Like, I thought it was kind of cute at first where like, I was okay up until the point where they kind of re reconciled and they started being way too mushy-gushy about it in their like, um, DMs and I was just not... You know when you cringe at like something, at like romance or like when you see PDA and you're like, Ugh, no, and like it's even worse because it's some, these two people like on an audiobook talking and you get to like hear their actual like mushy gushy text messages about how much they love each other and blah 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 and how they just want to kiss each other and I'm like, I didn't need this don't really need it. Uh, I do want to say I'm really, really liking it though. Like, I'm really, really liking it. Um, it's also kind of spooky to me. Like, this audiobook does weird spooky voices, and I get scared really easily. Like, I'm a baby, but um, AI and computers and robots are something that actually scare me a lot. Like, in movies, um, they scare me, like, way more than, like, monsters or zombies or, like, anything else like the thought of an AI going bad or like just this machine that is so much smarter than you that can't really be reasoned with isn't a human that freaks me out like iRobot I tried to watch iRobot when I was younger and I couldn't I had nightmares about that movie for months like I, it still freaks me out and it's not even that scary of a movie um Deus Ex Machina was <sighs> I had several heart attacks during that movie and like I just hate it. I hate robots. I hate them. That like, that robot or whatever it's called that's always on talk shows and stuff. I don't remember her name. I think I've repressed it, but like she freaks me out. I don't know what it is about something that's like just smarter than you and you can't, like you, you just, you're so, you're so bottom tier compared to it and it could just like kill you or do whatever so easily that like freaks me out. So having like an AI go rogue or something, that's scary to me. I don't know maybe it's a dumb fear but it's a fear it's almost 11 now i think i'm gonna go fix myself some breakfast maybe a smoothie um yeah i just i know i'm getting sick i think maybe i can invert it but like yesterday my throat was just killing me the whole day today i like feel it right here like there's an elephant sitting right here so maybe if i eat a lot of fruit it'll go away that's my reasoning i don't know uh, today, though, I have British literature, which I'm going to be going to in a little bit. Like I said, I had to read two Auden poems, the Musée des Beaux-Arts and the Shield of Achilles. <laughs> um, I really liked, I really, really liked the Shield of Achilles better, but, like, just because the Shield of Achilles is so good, and once again, features mythology. Well, like, the other one does, too, because the other one mentions Icarus and stuff like that, but the Shield of Achilles, especially because it deals a lot with Thetis or Achilles' mother, was really, really cool. So, I'm excited. I'm excited about that um but i just really kind of want to swerve <coughs> out of getting sick like i don't have time so that's my reading update though i'll probably come back and scream about illumina again because every few pages something bad keeps happening and i'm like can these people not catch a break cat 10 hostiles breaking vector roger that i see them fox fox can you intercept breakaway group headed 779 go you've got firing this is really well done, though. This, this is a well done audiobook. Oh my gosh! Has a husband and two children waiting for her back on ten. Don't say it. Don't say it. All right, welcome to my bathroom. Um, it's kind of cute. I never film in here though, but I just had a whole bunch of Fritos and then I had a cough drop. <coughs> so I'm ready for class. I also changed into this cute dress with stars on it that I found at the thrift store. So um, yeah, I think I'm doing really well on my goal. I don't think I've said this, but one of my 2020 goals was not to buy any new clothes and just go shopping at thrift stores if I ever 
had the urge to get new clothes. It's going great. Last year, I had that goal as well, and I think I basically only... I think I only bought one dress from, like, somewhere that wasn't a thrift store, so we're also doing well this year, but I'm gonna put on my vanilla bean body spray, even though it's no longer Christmas, but I don't care. And then I'm gonna head out the door, so. So it's a little bit later on Tuesday now. It's actually almost 4.30. I got back from class a little bit ago. As you can see, I've changed into my PJs because I just plan not to leave the apartment again tonight and just have a really cozy night in. I think my roommate is bringing us home shawarmas, which um, has very quickly become like my favorite food. Like we get it from the same shawarma place every night. Every, every night, I wish, every time. And they are the nicest people. They always just give us so much free food with our order. And I'm like, you don't have to do this. I don't deserve this. But like, it's such good shawarma. Oh my gosh. And it's vegan and yeah. So um, so if anyone's looking for some recommendations or trying new food or something, shawarmas. Like I have had shawarmas in the past, but recently when we tried this one restaurant, it was just like, it took me to a whole nother level of food, which was amazing. Um, but I am trying to drink a lot of water. I also made myself another cup of tea. It's like weird. I keep feeling sick and then not feeling sick. Maybe it'll just go away. I don't know. I'm currently uploading my Classics Community TBR, which I was kind of hesitating doing um, just because just because I don't know if that's something I'll actually follow through with, but I think I do because, I don't know, I made a really easy TBR as well. It's just like a book a month, um, which is totally doable, so we shall see. Um, also, I've been getting a lot of comments on my new, on the last video I uploaded right as of now, which was my uni TBR and my kind of English major, classical studies major, what I have to read, and so many people have been like, oh, I want more videos like this, which is amazing. I love that. I love your feedback always. It's so appreciated. But, like, I just don't know what kind of videos <laughs> that would entail. So, like, if you have ideas, like, I'm always here. I'm always open, like, to talk. Like, I really like just making content that people enjoy as well and that I enjoy. So if you have ideas or videos that you think is related to that or would be in that same category or just anything, let me know. Because, like, I'm never going to be like, no, that's a bad idea. Like, I'm not going to say that to you, so it's fine. Um, what else did I want to say? I'm almost done Illuminae. Holy moly, I've been flying through this book. Like so much has happened so many things have broken my heart I'm like really really enjoying it it's so good um I do have some little little problems with it but like the problems are so minuscule that like it doesn't even matter my favorite character so far is definitely Byron um I just want to give him a hug I just want him to be happy and alive and I just don't want him to like I don't want him to die. I don't know what happens, but like, I'm so scared for him. He's like a little cupcake. I definitely do want to continue on with the series, so we will see. Uh, I do think right now I just want to sit down on the couch, do some reading, wait for my shawarma to arrive, which like, I'll show you guys it, because I don't think I've ever put it in the vlogs, but it is the most beautiful thing in the world. I just wanted to put this little update in here, and once again, if you ever have any more video ideas, let me know. Um, I, I also wanted to say the other thing, the last thing. I've been getting so many messages on Instagram um, and on YouTube and maybe on Twitter? From just people being like, oh, I found your channel, I'm also in English, or like they're in a similar experience, or from other people who want to go into English, and it's just like, it's so nice. I love it. I love it so much. I'm so glad that people like reach out to other people and are like, hey, books, um, which is really nice. And I just wanted to say too, like if I don't answer you right away, it doesn't mean I'm not going to. I just got, I've gotten like so many messages recently that I don't know what to do with them all. And I'm kind of like overwhelmed with messages and I can't like answer them all right away, but I am slowly getting around to all of them. So if you did send me a message, I saw it. Don't worry, my eyeballs have graced the beautiful words that you wrote and I will write some semi-beautiful words back to you eventually. So I just wanted to say that too, but keep them coming. I love talking to you guys. I love talking to people about books. For so long, I just like, 
was like a hundred percent an introvert and like a thousand percent of the way like I wouldn't talk to people in real life or online and I'm really slowly breaking out of that especially because like I started this YouTube channel and I was like okay I'm gonna talk to people and I'm gonna like make that my goal in real life and in like an international online sense I guess and I made so many friends because of that and it's just like nice because I'm a very very shy person obviously maybe it doesn't come across that way because I do make videos of myself talking to a camera and post them on the internet which seems kind of hypocritical but like I'm still a very shy person and I'm sure anyone else will tell you that has a YouTube channel that it's not the same as actually like going out of your little bubble and talking to people because it doesn't feel like that um, but it's just nice and yeah I just wanted to say that I just Thank you. Thank you so much for like supporting this channel and more than that, yeah, just talking to me um, and letting me talk back to you about books or about life or about anything. Like, feel free to talk to me about anything. It doesn't have to be about books. I just, yeah, I'm really trying to like connect. Genuine human connection is what we're looking for in this world. So that's my little rant on that. I'm going to shut my mouth and go read a book. I also wanted to tape some of the notes that I got from people who sent me books into the books themselves because I, oh, I forget what booktuber I saw do that. I saw it and I really wanted to do it too because I just thought it was like a really, really sweet little memory and kind of snapshot and you'll always remember who gave it to you and what they said and kind of, yeah. So it was a really, really cute idea. So I have The Silence of the Girls and I'm going to tape... Carolyn's one in it. I also have a book from Mary and I'm gonna tape her little guy in it um, and then I have another one from Carolyn and I'm gonna tape them all in it. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna put it right on the page where it has like the book dedication and then I'll just put it here and remember that twas from Carolyn. Ta-da! Hey guys, so it is now Wednesday morning. It's actually like Wednesday afternoon. I think it just hit noon, but I have not eaten or gotten ready or did anything for class because I've literally been sitting for like three hours now finishing Illuminae and listening to Illuminae. I haven't done anything else. I started listening to it a little bit this morning and I was like, oh, I'll just listen to it a little bit and then do some homework, but like it just like paralyzed me on the couch and I couldn't stop listening to it and I had to just keep going until I finished it and ah! I just want to scream like it was so good it killed me so many plot twists happen and I was like what it was so good I'm so happy that I read that I like really sped through it though and now like I just want to keep reading the next one and Oh my gosh, it blew my mind. I got really, really sad about it. I think I'm feeling like a little bit like book hungover now and like I don't want to start any other book because like it kind of killed me. There's like that one part, if like you've read Illuminate, I feel like you know what part I'm talking about, but like it's kind of the part that kicks off the last act of the book and you're like, what? That, I didn't see that coming at all to be quite honest with you i was not prepared for that so i just wanted to say i finished illuminate this morning 
I'm looking pretty rough, but I am gonna have to head out the door pretty soon. Uh, also, last night I read a bunch of The Picture of Dorian Gray, which is good because I wanted to finish it this week. So I think I'm 150 pages through now, and the book is making me feel so inadequate. Like last night, I literally just started crying while I was reading this book, and not because anything particularly sad happened, just because of the writing and that's insane like this book goes beyond any other experience i've ever had with a book i think or like it's a very different experience that i can't really put into words and it's just oh my like little heart right now i just finished illuminate i'm also reading the picture of dorian gray i this was a bad call like these books are killing me but like i said yeah i just feel like i can't even voice to you what this book makes you feel what the experience of reading this book is like so um yeah i just never want to finish it and it's not even a long book to begin with but i'm just wow almost i want to like tab and annotate every single page because oscar wilde just like every sentence is so jam-packed with meaning and beauty that it's just so arresting so that's that one but I do need to do some school reading this morning, which I've totally neglected, but it is a poem called Seeing the Light by Olive Senior. Um, I think it's from her collection Gardening in the Tropics, if you wanted to check it out, but um, I'm just going to read this really quickly. It's kind of short, so that's good. And then I'm going to head out the door to class. I might grab another coffee on campus just because... I don't know, just because I'm feeling really, really tired and kind of down now. <laughs> Books really are breaking my heart, so. I do have another audiobook that I can start today if I want, but like, I don't know if I want to because, uh, <laughs> if anyone else has read Illuminate, I think you, hopefully you know what I'm talking about, but like, no. <laughs> So I just got back from class. I went to my one class and then I went to my favorite little uh, coffee shop on campus and I was gonna, I was planning on like staying there and doing some work on my project and my assignment, but every, literally everywhere, I walked the whole entire campus through so many buildings and anywhere and there was no, there were no seats at all. So I decided to just bring my coffee and my muffin back home and work here, which like, I was really in the mood to work in a coffee shop today. but. I guess the universe said no, so here we are. Um, I don't want to ramble on for too long, but I am going to start working on my... Probably going to start with the Greek epic since that assignment is due on Monday and is due first before my presentation on Wednesday, so that is that. I really did not have... It was not a good class today in women in literature. I feel like it didn't really learn that much, which is frustrating and... Anyway, I'm kind of in a grumpy, grouchy mood, but it's okay. Like, my version of grumpy is really not that grumpy, so it's alright. But um, I'm gonna probably heat this up because it's kind of gone cold now. That is that. Alright, so it is actually, oh gosh, Thursday evening now. It's almost 5 o'clock. It's like 4.49. Um, but I think what I'm going to do right now, I got back from class. I was at, I was on campus pretty much all day. I had Greek and Roman sexuality this morning. And then I had a break where I worked on my assignment about Aphrodite and Helen, which I like, I don't know how much to write because I ended up writing almost two pages on only the first question. And I'm like, I think this is way too much. Um, so I'm gonna have to go over that tonight and fix it up. It's due on Monday, so I still have a bit of time, but I also need to work on my presentation. Um, and yeah, so. And then after that, I had British literature, I got a muffin and a coffee, and I finally found somewhere to sit and work, so that was really good. But then we had Britlet, we were talking about Auden, uh, those two poems I mentioned earlier this week, so that's cool. I know we're starting Beckett soon, so that is also cool, and I think tonight, we did go grocery shopping last night, but, but I got this soup that I've never had before. It is the Amy's Organic Soups, um, and I only have one left, because last night I had the chicken noodle one, except it was like the no chicken noodle soup, it was vegan, which like, 
I love soup so much, but honestly, if you're vegan or you're dairy-free or whatever, you know it's so hard to find soups that don't have milk or cream in them or cheese randomly. Um, so it was so nice to find that and to find chicken noodles vegan soup nonetheless I haven't had chicken noodle soup in over three years and it was like tasting childhood again It was what like nostalgia tastes like and it was amazing. So they were like having a sale on them I also got the black bean vegetable one. So I think I honestly Might run over to the grocery store again tonight and pick up more soup that is the extent of my Thursday night plans. I'm gonna also be working on some homework tonight and probably working on some video stuff. I know Carolyn and I just uploaded our first secret project, which I can now talk to you about. It was the Dark Academia book tag. It will be the video that I uploaded right before this vlog. So if you wanna go check it out, feel free and make sure to check out Carolyn's too because she looks so cute in her video, you guys. She is, she's the cutest little bean. Um, she's my favorite dark academic, <laughs> but yeah. I, it was just so fun doing that with her. I'm so glad that like people in the world exist who want to connect with you and work on cool projects and stuff like that and yeah. I also wanted to say that I'm still not over Illuminae. I'm still thinking about it every second of every day. It pretty much broke my heart. Um, but I did start another audiobook today to kind of try and get over it and that is The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. I have never actually read his Dark Materials series or seen the movie so yeah, it was just not part of my childhood, but I'm an hour in to The Golden Compass right now, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Like, everyone, I'm pretty sure everyone loves it, but I just had never read it before, so really excited about that. And, um, yeah, I think tomorrow I might try and film my January wrap-up, since tomorrow is the last day of January. I feel like January is always the longest month to me, and I always get sick. I feel like this whole week has just been me in hoodies. <laughs> looking like garbage so i apologize for that i'll try to fix it up next week but um yes okay i'm gonna stop talking now and i'm gonna go get my soups Hello, welcome to Friday. The week is pretty much done now. It is Friday afternoon, it just hit noon. I woke up pretty early this morning, got ready. I filmed my January wrap up, which was really cool. And I'm actually gonna be leaving quite soon. I'm going to visit my family today, which I'm really excited about. I really, really miss my dog so much. Um, I might include some clips of some doggy adventures because, oh, dogs are the best thing to have ever graced this godforsaken planet. But um, I feel like I've never introduced the two dogs I always show in my vlogs. The little black pug, her name is Mika. She's actually not my dog, she's my aunt's dog that we just dog sit all the time. Um, but my dog is Evie. She is a farm dog. We don't really know what she is. We think she's a mix of German Shepherd, um, uh, <laughs> German Shepherd, Labradoodle, and uh, the Newfoundland duck toller, I believe. So that's really cool. Um, she's all red. She's very weird. She looks like a fox. That's why we named her Evie. She kind of loosely looks like the Pokemon. Anyway, um, but yeah, I am going over there very shortly to visit and both the dogs will be there. So I will be in dog heaven, which thank goodness. However, my reading goal for today is actually to finish the picture of Dorian Gray. I made a lot of progress on this last night. I'm on page 185. So I think I only have like 40-ish pages left. So I'm gonna try and finish this today. However, I also have a lot of homework to do. Um, today I'll mostly be working on my Greek assignment about Helen and Aphrodite, um, which I was talking about earlier, but that is the plan. Don't really have any other things going on. I feel empty. I feel like I'm in the void, because like usually for the past two weeks now, Carolyn and I have been Skyping every Friday morning, but both our semesters have started back up and we can't, and I'm so sad about it. It feels weird not like talking to her right now, but um, yes, I'm gonna try and finish this today. I'll let you know how it goes. I am currently a little bit of the way through the Golden Compass as well, and I am in love with it. We've just been introduced to Nicole, Nicole Kidman. Oh gosh, what is her character name? That's all I remember her as, like Nicole Kidman from the Golden Compass movie. Stunning, beautiful, wonderful villain. Like I already know she's the villain because it's been kind of advertised like that. But um, we've just been introduced to her and our main character Lyra is really just falling in love with her. And I'm like, no, you sweet summer child, don't do it. Um, I also just love, I love Lyra. Oh my gosh, she reminds me so much of like myself. Like she's just such like a grubby little person, little child who like wants to play with skulls and like mash up worms in the dirt, which is like 
that's pretty much my childhood. She really just reminds me of like that quote by Emily Bronte from Wuthering Heights. I think it's like, I wish I was a girl again, half savage and hearty and free. And I'm like, I feel that in my bones. Like it's not really culturally or societally appropriate for like a 21 year old to go traipsing through the mud on all fours anymore, pretending you're like a brontosaurus or something. <laughs> or bronchiosaurus, whatever the hell they're called. Um, but I just love Lyra. Like, I love her. Like, little, dirty, playing in the dirt girls, I just, oh, that hits me so hard. Like, that's all I did with my childhood was, like, literally just, like, rifle through the dirt. That sounds really awful, but, like, it was fun. Like, it was fun. Um, so that's my little update on the Golden Compass. I'm really, really liking it. This might be the last clip I film in this vlog because I do have quite a busy day. I also started playing last night Star Wars, the new game. Um, it's really like weird for me to play with my concussion, like it makes it a little bit worse, but like it is so pleasing. It's so like lovely, the graphics and the story and the guy is that actor, Cameron, I think his name is Cameron. Cameron something, it's that guy, he's really cute. Um, and it's just so nice, oh my gosh, I love it. So that's what that little clip was, but um, I'll probably play some more of that tonight, but I really do need to get to work on some homework. So I think I'm going to go pack my bag, get ready, put Mr. Oscar Wilde in my backpack, and head out the door. So um, if this is the last clip, then thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you guys are enjoying these vlogs, and I'm really happy to keep making them. So yeah. Uh, other than that, I will see you in my next video, or in the next vlog, or whenever I see you. So, um, prashik. <laughs>